Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Could I just ask you about the pledge? You can tell me what it what it says. Could just introduce yourself and tell sure. me what the pledge is, what it is. You're hold on one second. Get you. Yeah. 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 Introduce yourself and tell me what what it is there. Yep. Um, my name is Jeremy Olson, and the um, pledge here is basically. We think this is like a last ditch effort at this point to kill it. We are trying to tell them that if they pass this bill, these people, and we have 12 signers plus myself at this point, will not follow the seatbelt law. And if we get ticketed, we will basically take it to court, spend their time and money in court. It's a $100 fine. We take it to court, we spend a couple hours, and they lost more money than they're going to make off of the fine. And some people, and this includes myself, may very well take the um, two-day jail sentence instead of taking the fine, and that will cost the state about $400 instead of them getting $100. So that's what we're doing here. Basically, they think this is going to generate revenue, and we're going to try to turn that around on them. Okay. And the fact that this is going to the Ways and Means Committee tells you it's about revenue generation. Yeah. This is the, the tax people, Ways and Means. Uh -huh. Now, this yeah. is interesting because it goes here, and then it goes back to the House for another vote. What happened is it, it went to the Transportation Committee because it's about transportation, and they voted on it, passed it, and then they referred it to Ways and Means to set the value of the fine. Right now it's set to 100 $50 first offense, $100 second offense. Mm -hmm. And I guess what they're going to debate today is if what it should be really be set at. What should the fine be? Yes. Yeah. And again, this is the tax committee, so it's clearly revenue generation. Okay. Yeah. That's really interesting. And, you know, like what other states have done is they might set up checkpoints and stuff like that to grab people. They'll probably have more, like, speed traps and stuff out there looking for people. Yeah. So. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, most of the people that sign this is, um, you know, a lot of the guys out in Keene, the people that sort of do political activism out. Side yeah. the system. Mark Edgington, he's from Free Talk Live, if you've heard of that. I talked I talk with him last night. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hello, there's the radio voice. <laughs> yeah, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Good. Sorry, you got the thing in your hand. No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Mark Edgington. I live in Keene, New Hampshire. I have a nationally syndicated radio show called Free Talk Live. Um, it's on 46 stations coast to coast. I'm also a firefighter here in New Hampshire, and I'm here to oppose uh, the uh, Bill 353 to mandate seat belts uh, in the state of New Hampshire. New Hampshire's the last state that hasn't, doesn't have an adult mandate on seat belts. And I'm of the opinion that uh, free people should be able to decide whether or not they can have to wear a seat belt. And I'm also of the opinion that uh, now and then, maybe it's a st statistically small number, but people die because they have seat belts on. And I'm not prepared to use the force and the uh, violence of government to make somebody whose uh, loved one has died in an accident because they were wearing a seatbelt, wear a seatbelt. I feel that's immoral, and I, I think that the government should stay out of it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I guess I should mention that I'm not going to. Uh, I've got a civil disobedience thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to be wearing seatbelts if they pass this law. And I'm not going to pay their ticket. And I'll go to jail. <laughs> And I'm going to tell um, listeners on 46 stations, seven of which are in New Hampshire, not to do it either if they, uh, you know. Oh, let me get that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>